Hello, welcome to the Bald Gaming Reviews. Tainted Grail, The Fall of Avalon was released on March 30, 2023, by Systemic Reaction. The game has good and bad things and in this video I am gonna show them and tell my opinion about the game. Let's start with the good parts. The game has awesome environments. Everywhere you look it looks good. Nice buildings, nice sky, and good lighting. The voice acting is pretty good. Let's take a listen. We're done here. And the moment you start getting on my nerves... Noise. Tainted Grail has quite a lot of attribute points and skills. You can really feel that you can choose the path you want to take, being mage, warrior, or focusing on stealth with bow and daggers. The game has four loadouts that you can choose for example, a sword, a loadout with a bow and other loadouts with the magic. You can shuffle the loadouts very fast with numpads or with the fast wheel. So changing the weapons is very fast and intuitive. And the last, the music is great, let's hear. Let's take a look at parts that the game lack. From what I saw the game has some issues with performance. It seems that is poor optimized, if you pass to another part of the map and you attack a mob, first attack is lagging the game, but after everything is fine. Now I don't know if it's from my PC or that's how the game runs. But I have a pretty good PC and most of the people might have problems playing. One time when I loaded the game I was in the water, under the map, but at least I could teleport to town. And a nasty bug that broke the game for me was the fact that after reloading a save, the game was stuck in some kind of menu screen without buttons. Basically it will stay like this for a lot of time without anything happening. So let's recap. The game is still early access so the bugs are inevitable. The team that made the game is very nice and very responsive to the community. So the more people will play the game and help them to find the bugs the faster the bugs will be resolved. The version that I played was before the release with a couple of days so maybe at the early access release some of this bugs may been resolved. The game is good and it has potential, but if you expect a full finished game without bugs, it is not the case. Just take your time and you will enjoy it. Thank you for watching, I hope you liked the video and don't forget to subscribe to see more games.